in the photo, it's overflowing with shrimp. GoPro, start recording. Hello, my makers. I'm Melinda, and I'm cooking my way through Betty Crocker's 1971 recipe card library. And today we're making Jiffy Shrimp and Patty Shells. Jiffy Shrimp and Patty Shells is from Section T, Impromptu Party Fair, and it's card number seven. I've only made one other card in the, impro in the Impromptu Party Fair section, and it was crusty salmon shortcakes, and I feel like this is very much a cousin to that because it's a different type of seafood goo put on a bread thing. <laughs> but um, I think this one will be better. Um, I've never heard of a patty shell. I had to Google it, but I guess it is like a pastry shell that can be filled with either sweet or savory fillings. Um, and so we're gonna try making those from scratch and then we're gonna make this jiffy shrimp filling to go inside of them. So let's get started. For jiffy shrimp and patty shells, we will need some bacon, some minced onion and celery, a can of mushroom stems and pieces, which I've never had before. Um, two cans of tomato soup, uh, two cans of shrimp, but we are going to use frozen shrimp instead, and then some chopped bell pepper and the baked patty shells. So I'm going to use this pastry sheet to make patty shells. So the way the recipe card just calls for baked patty shells makes me think that you can purchase these pre-made. I've seen like Pepperidge Farm brand frozen patty shells that you still have to bake, but they're at least assembled already but uh, I couldn't find those at the store, so I found a recipe online for how to make them using a puff pastry sheet. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna follow those instructions and hope for the best. Um, so I have um, puff pastry that's pretty much still frozen. It's been sitting out for like five minutes now. And I kind of broke it apart as I was unfolding it because it doesn't really matter. What I'm gonna do now is do a quick little egg wash on this. I'm not supposed to help the patty shells stick to one another. You'll see, I'll be stacking some things. And it'll also give it a nice brown color when it's in the oven. I picked this recipe just because it has an interesting name, like Jiffy Shrimp in Patty Shells. Jiffy Patty. Um, I've never heard of a patty shell before. We'll see if this recipe is indeed Jiffy. <laughs> Um, I have a feeling it'll still take me a bit of time. <laughs> now we have two size circle cuts. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut two circles out of each section. So then what we're gonna do is cut a hole in one of them. Press, I'm pressing all the way through but I'm gonna push it out like this. And there's different ways you can kind of do this, but as long as you get the same result. So this is gonna be kind of the edge. This is the bottom of the little cup. This is the side of the little cup. And this is the top half of the little cup that we're gonna take out. So then you stack it on top. And like I said, the egg is gonna kind of seal it together. And that's one. So we just have to keep doing that until we get all of them assembled, so. Okay, so we have four patty shells and just the bottom. <laughs> so these are gonna go in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes until they're completely puffed and we'll see what happens. <laughs> all right, our patty shells are out of the oven and they turned out really cute. I mean, they're a little floppy, but that's okay. <laughs> um, so we're gonna let them cool for a little bit and then you try to like take the hat off, which the hat seems a little connected, but we'll see what we can do. We're gonna let them cool. And I have all of my knees and paws ready to go over to the stove top and make the filling, but I wanted to on camera open up these mushrooms because I'm very concerned about them. And uh, they make me nervous and I thought you'd wanna see my reaction to that so <laughs> um yeah i i don't know i don't know about this pieces and stems mushrooms 
This pan is so dusty when I took it off the shelf at the grocery store, which means to me that not a lot of people are buying mushrooms in a can, but it's best by 2026. So it smells like mushrooms. <laughs> Oh, why is that liquid that color? <laughs> why is it pea colored? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess they don't look that bad. They don't look as bad as I thought they would. They kind of smell like um, my parents will cook mushrooms in butter and they get kind of this color and texture <laughs> when you like steam them in butter. So, maybe they'll be good. Okay, well. Yum. All right, let's go over to the stove and work on the filling. All right, so first things first, we are going to, in a skillet, fry bacon until crisp. So I have seven slices of bacon here that I've cut up and now we're just, we're just gonna put it in this pan. And there's a lot of fat there. And we're gonna reserve some of that fat to cook the rest of the vegetables in. So this is our little crispy bacon topping. Once that cools down, I'll crumble it a little bit. And then, let's see. Pour off all but one quarter cup of bacon drippings from a skillet. So I'm gonna attempt, maybe I'll just pour the whole thing in this cup. Ooh, here we go. I just wipe it out with a paper towel really quick. Mmm. I'm gonna put a quarter cup, they said, back in. And then the celery and the onions going in. Ooh. And we're gonna cook that down until the onion's a bit translucent and the celery is tender, and then we'll continue adding ingredients. All right, the onions are starting to get tender. I forgot that I was supposed to put the mushrooms in at the same time as the others, so I did that. And everything's looking, starting to look cooked, starting to look good. Starting to get some, uh, some brown on them. So I think what I'm gonna do is stir in the soup, shrimp, and green bell pepper. So I got some pepper. The mushrooms actually look good now that they're being sauteed. I just saw a little brown a little bag. The shrimp's going in. Two ten and a half ounces of tomato soup, which feels like a lot to me, but we're gonna do it. And it'll cook down, I guess. Yeah, I really thought that this tomato soup wouldn't be so condensed. Now I'm not worried about the amount of liquid. <laughs> like I said, it seems very soup, soup heavy. Because this basically says, stir in soup, shrimp, and green pepper, heat through. So we're just cooking this until it's heated through. I don't know how much time that will take to get heated through and if that will also kind of allow some of the soup to evaporate and get thicker. I'm gonna let it kind of come to a simmer, I guess. All right, I let it simmer for, I don't know, five, five or eight minutes maybe. It's got a little bit thicker. It's still not super thick, but I think that's as good as we're gonna get, right? <laughs> so, I'll just kind of try not to get too much juice in the patty shells. So it's time to assemble. And we do have to cut the hats off the patty shells. So I'm gonna do that first. And I thought it would be kind of less attached than it is. But you're supposed to be able to just take this part off and it will be hollow inside. <laughs> That's not true. It's not hollow. Come on. This reminds me of ham snacks when I was making pad and hoping for hollow little containers and not getting them. <laughs> so that's kind of hollowed out. <laughs> uh, okay. The moment of truth. I think this spoon's too big. I need to get a smaller spoon. In the photo, it's simply overflowing with shrimp. So I don't want to be too heavy handed with the filling, but I also want it, I don't want it to like fall apart or leak out. I'm not quite sure what these are supposed to be. Like, 
Is this an appetizer? Is this a main dish? Would you eat several of these? Do you serve one per guest? See, this one's just like leaking out because it's so lopsided. <sighs> boy, oh boy. Okay, then I'm gonna take some of this curly parsley and kind of put a little bit of parsley on top of each. And then I'm gonna take our bacon crumbles and do a little bacon crumble on each. Okay. Let's get cleaned up and we'll taste. All right, it's time to taste. I don't even know how I'm supposed to eat these because like, do you just eat the interior first and then eat the shell? Do I break apart the shell and things start gooing out? <laughs> I don't know. But I guess I'll just... I'll just break it apart. Mmm. Why is the most prominent flavor bell pepper? <laughs> the shrimp in a tomato sauce is interesting. I don't hate it. It's kind of good. Shrimp and bacon is also interesting. Now that I'm like peeling off layers like this, it reminds me of like a Grand's Layers Pillsbury biscuit. Do you know what I'm talking about? Maybe this is the this is the appeal of the patty shell, is that you can kind of eat it in layers. <laughs> like you eat a little bit of filling, pull off a layer of shell, eat a little more filling, pull off a layer of shell, <laughs> like this. Mm. I was concerned that there was no salt or pepper in this recipe. I think the bacon fat helped. The bell pepper is so interesting. I think also because you put the bell pepper in at the end, it really doesn't get a chance to like caramelize. So I'm like, when I'm biting into a bell pepper, it's like a kind of raw bell pepper. <laughs> but I think these are really interesting. I wanted to read the back of the card because she says, Begin this elegant spur of the moment lunch with cranberry frost below and serve your own special green salad with confetti dressing also below. And cranberry frost is just um, scooping lemon, lime, or orange sherbet into a punch cup and then filling with chilled cranberry cocktail. Serve the demitas, dem demitas, demitas spoon. Um, just like a dessert spoon. Confetti dressing is uh, eight ounces of oil and vinegar dressing, capers, finely chopped pimento, and then you use that dressing on a side salad. So I'm trying to picture like, you know, ooh, I'm starting with a little, a little cranberry cocktail moment. I have a nice green side salad with this. I can see it. I can see that being an elegant menu on, on a dime, impromptu. Yeah, this is good. It's fun. It's fun to eat out of a patty shell. <laughs> I never heard of this before, but I'm into it. Jiffy shrimp and patty shells. We did it. It was surprisingly good. I'm kind of into it. I thought it was going to be freaky, but it tasted really good. The shrimp and tomato was, I thought, going to be a weird combination, but I didn't hate it. The only weird thing was the bell pepper. Um, the, sh like... Um, patty shells were a little hit or miss. Some of them are, are a little bit lopsided. I feel like if you can find them pre-made in the store, maybe they're less likely to be lopsided when they come out of the oven. But overall, I thought it was a fun recipe. It's almost like a little mini pot pie almost because you get that like flaky crust. You get that like gooey gooey vegetable filling. Um, yeah, unexpected, but like kind of cute and like attractive on the plate. Fun, I'm into it. <laughs> I'm gonna give Jiffy Shrimp and Patty Shells four out of five fruit spoons. Okay, back in the box. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, happy homemaking.